Hi there again everyone, Josie here, live at 50 and beyond. Thanks for joining me here in my channel. Today I have a Trash to Treasure segment for you. And I love to do Trash to Treasure because it's like giving life to something that is already bound for the trash or has been sold to a thrift shop. So I really enjoy doing Trash to Treasure. So what I thought about doing today is something different from what I have customarily have been doing. I'm going to try to start it kind of theme going on here in my channel I'll call them DIY decorganizer because I love to do both DIY organizers as well as DIY decors or decorations so I'm gonna do both and in on each project so the first one I got this treasure box or some would probably call this trinket box and I love it because it's made of wood it has seen better days there is some damage inside but it's not a huge damage the hinges are still fine this one the ribbon on the right side has been ripped or cut off but I think I have enough ribbon and I can actually replace that and I'm just gonna clean up also the inside as well as the outside because it's so dusty so i've been debating whether to paint it or not but i've decided to paint it to just give it a new look and to make it look fresh so since i'm thinking this is going to be perfect for fall because of the three maple leaf on the front and there's one on the top as well and i'm going to go ahead and paint over them using my chalk paint so I am going to be using this to organize my journals as well as use it also for home decor. So first I am wiping the dust or the dirt off with some wipes and these are the disinfectant wipes because you know this is not from my household so I just want to make sure that I don't also bring in too much dirt in the house. And just using my chalk paint, using my artist paintbrush, I'm just painting along the grain and the good thing about chalk paint it's very forgiving meaning you don't really need to do it so perfectly as well as if you're doing a farmhouse style it doesn't need to be really perfect because a lot of the farmhouse style or or painting with farmhouse theme in mind it's more like rustic it's more like weathered and that's why I like it. So I'm just doing a couple of coats of paint here and then I'm done. I'm not going to be doing anything further except paint the outside. I didn't even put the painter's tape around those brass handles or knobs because I'm just going to keep them like that and I'm just going to clean off the excess paint. So here I am doing the second coat of paint and what I've been doing with the maple leaf leaves are just keeping them like that with a little bit of shadowing now I am just going to be doing something here on the side where I will be just replacing the ribbon the broken ribbon originally I was just gonna go ahead and probably staple onto the broken one but then I decided I will just trim off totally the old ribbon and then I have this ribbon that has some polka dots on the underside and I don't mind doing that I'm not replacing the one on the left anymore I'm just going to go ahead and just snip off this two pieces here of the old ribbons and then just hot glue this strip here I'm just attaching each end onto the locations where I have snipped off or removed the old ribbons so I pre-measured this using the other ribbon and I just cut it to size. I just gave it probably a half an inch of allowance on each end so that in case I made a mistake, I can still readjust it. I love writing journals. I presented here my traveler's notebooks as well as my planners as well as my bujo and I've always kept them in nice boxes but I don't spend an arm and a leg for those so I often try to look for something like this. I'm always on the lookout and I put them in nice kind of like treasure 
boxes because you know journals are a treasure they're your memory so you want to keep them in a nice container as well so these are just some of my journals these are the latest ones that i am working on the others they are on their own boxes but what i like about this box like i said earlier i can actually use this as a home decor because it's fall right now and there are three maple leaves in the front there are actually one on each side i've just noticed as well as one on the top so it's perfect for propping up your fall decor so i am just putting some of the packaging materials here i never throw away things because i just want to reuse things so this one will not show up anyway so i'm just kind of increasing the height instead of buying anything to fill up the bottom i'm just using something that came in the packaging so these are my three diy pumpkins that i created here recently this is for year 2019 if you haven't seen the video where i created this i'm going to go ahead and put an i card on the upper right hand corner of this video i'm also going to put the link in the description box below if you are interested go ahead and watch it it's kind of like a trash treasure too because i have reused some items here as well when i created those pumpkins so yeah love it so if i'm not using it to store my journals especially i'm still writing on them i'm going to use it for fall or any season to be honest my next trash to treasure i'm working on this empty jar we had this uh, empty jar i just washed it and this was for a spread so i'm going to use the same artist paint brush and i love this one this one has the one inch wide flat brush and i'm going to be using my white chalk paint to draw some white lines what i'm going to do is actually a buffalo check design and i've done this kind of system when i repainted one of my ceramic pumpkins and this is just how i do it this is just my own kind of simple method no painter's tape no ruler it's just like a rough method it's a rustic method it's if you want to be neat with it use a guide or maybe add painter's tape but i don't mind having crooked lines to be honest or uneven lines i just want to make it look more rustic and simple and i try to do my diys here as simple as possible so that you all could be be able to do this even kids can do it so i'm using also an elephant gray chalk paint by Waverly. So after I put the stripes using my white or ivory color chalk paint, I'm going to be using gray paint or this elephant gray by Waverly. And those spaces that do not have the white lines, I will be painting with this elephant gray. So I'm just filling in the space there. Again, using the same brush and i have rinsed it before i used it so you can do two coats of each and that's what i've done actually and then voila then the next one i am going to be using the same paintbrush and since this is gray i didn't really rinse it anymore i'm using the ink color by waverly and it is actually black okay so they just called it ink but I'm going to be using that again using the same flat head brush I'm going to be applying on the horizontal because I've been painting vertically now I will be painting horizontally and I am going to go ahead and paint around it by row using the brush or the bristles as my guide. Again, like I said, I don't use painter's tape, but if you want to do a neater job, use painter's tape. And I like the rustic look when it's uneven. It's like it's been done from a long time ago because I don't think they had painter's tape back in the days, right? So, yeah, so that's my excuse. And uh, probably you can call this the lazy, quick way of doing buffalo check. But I love it. Every time I like those kind of excess an even stroke because it makes it look really rustic so i also applied a little bit of that black paint that's kind of like dry brushing it on the opening and then i will let that dry 
Once it's dry, I'm going to be using this twine that I got from Dollar Tree. These are just leftovers. I have them in my stash. And then I just cut a couple of, you know, strips and then did a simple bow. And here's my Totoro pen. <laughs> I love using that for my journals as well as my marker, gel pens, and also I am putting my letter opener because I love also reading my letters and then putting in them in my journal and also adding some scissors here a couple of scissors because sometimes I cut some clippings or photos or when I do my own print out of photos or images I cut them and these are just my journaling essentials so to speak but then if I want to use this for home decor I will just add either flowers or even votive candles inside and they'll flicker but I decided to use some full lavender flowers here it's perfect and it's propped up next to this treasure box that I am using to display my DIY pumpkins there you go and I also propped up that gather wooden sign that I got from Dollar Tree so I hope you enjoyed this video everyone. These are just quick DIYs, trash to treasure. I have more coming up and I also have another DIY organizer coming up. So like I said, probably what I'm going to be doing more often in here in my channel will be doing a dual role, not just an organizer but a home decor when it comes to probably doing a trash to treasure. But I'm also doing something individually when I'm doing my DIY just plain decor or DIY just plain organizer. So I'm just trying to kind of give you a couple of options here when you're doing your trash to treasure, hunting. Be on the lookout for things that you can just easily fix. I love to give life, like I said, to old things and instead of them being thrown away or being wasted. So I'm trying to kind of promote here not being wasteful as well. So I still love the Dollar Tree for its budget-friendly items, but I also love doing trash to treasures, and I hope you do too. So take care, everyone. Thanks for joining me here again in my channel today. If you haven't subscribed yet, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please do subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification bell icon so that you will not miss any of my new uploads. And I will talk to you all in the comment section and on my next video. Take care, everyone. God bless. Bye-bye.